Well guys, here she is, my new rig. So, newest member of Not Loose 4x4, it's a TD42 uh, GQ, running a 16G Mamba Turbo. Um, and safe to say, I'm absolutely in love with it. Come have a look. So, at the front, it came with the bull bone scrubbies. Currently got stock tyres on it, but I got 35s booked in for next week. Absolutely can't wait. It's currently got a two inch lift, that's just Dobinson. It's a bit sag, so you can't really tell it's got a lift kit. I just chucked these bad boys on because if anyone with the GQ you, you know that the stock one's absolute just rubbish. Um, they flap as soon as you hit pretty much over 40k. So these are a massive game changer. I can see everything behind me. Um, came for snorkel, GME, and just a stock train. So other than that, she's pretty stock. But let's have a look at the engine. All right. So here she is, just a silver top with an aftermarket turbo. She's been mod plated. Um, so I've bought the car pretty much how it is. I haven't done anything myself other than the mirrors. Um, so it's got a bigger intercooler, which is 600 by 900. Um, it's got an aftermarket air box, which is a four inch fat fabs. Other than that, she's pretty stock. Um, still with turbo, it's a 16 G Mamba turbo. It's at 12 PSI at the moment, which is pretty good for what it is. Still on the stock 10 mil pump. So other than that, no real engine work done. Um, pretty keen to add, add a catch can down the future, but on the TDs, like you don't really need one, but wouldn't be a bad idea. So that's the engine. Now let's have a look at the back. So at the back, we've got just a basic white tray. It's by Stenhouse Weldon. Um, so the car came with this. It's got like a little wood interior flooring. Pretty keen to get rid of the wood and pretty keen to get a black tray on the spray paint this one. Depends where we're at. Also, it's just got a three inch straight through with a muffler, obviously. Um, gives up a perfect note, sounds quite nice. So, not too much going on at the back. Um, pretty keen to change it up, get a canopy in the future, hopefully, as well. So, now have a look at the inside. So, pretty much in the front, there's nothing really aftermarket other than just GME and the head unit. Uh, the head unit I'm going to be replacing to probably a Polaris one because they're just mint as. Other than that, we've just got this bad boy here, which is an EGT boost and bolt gauge, so three in one. Find it's pretty accurate, the only thing that doesn't work is the EGT, which I'll have to just connect up, but shows all the boost, shows all the bolts, and she's running fine. So other than that, the car's pretty clean. I'm absolutely stoked on it. Got a ton of plans for her though. Well, it's safe to say I'm absolutely stoked on the new rig. There's a fair bit I need to do to her, but I kind of like the stock look, but she's gonna be big, 35s, hopefully a big lift kit very soon. But for now, I'm just enjoying her being stock and having a fair bit of power with obviously smaller wheels. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya. Coming up on Knock Loose 4 x She looks good. She looks real good. Fucking mint. Alright.